Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialist in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss a few Microsoft Teams settings. Basically, we will see where this Microsoft Teams settings are there, the options, and then we will see how we can set user availability, how we can set custom status, and then how we can change theme, a profile picture, language, uh, Microsoft Teams meeting how it will open a separate window that we will see and then also we will see how we can set microsoft team uh, to start automatically whenever you will open the system we will see this kind of things now uh, microsoft teams is one of the rapid growth and widely used app in office 365 or microsoft 365 this has been used hugely by a lot of organizations i know you have used microsoft teams so now let us see there are two three ways that how we can access microsoft teams one is that you can open uh, in the browser itself teams.microsoft.com and then you require the office 365 credential for that the second one is you can download and install microsoft teams client side app so it's a desktop application that you can uh, download and install it will be for uh, it is available for windows and mac os as well the third one is you can download the mobile app so this this is the ways that you can uh, get it uh, the microsoft teams and everywhere you can log in with your office 365 uh, credential i have also created a separate video what is microsoft teams how you can use those things the features uh, i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at this but in all these apps you will get the uh, uh, team settings and in web there will be less settings compared to whatever the settings are available in the desktop or the client application i'll show you that as well now i have also created a blog post for the same so this blog blog post i'm going to update here so whenever i will get the new settings i'll i'll put updated uh, information on this and make sure that you can also have this url bookmark so that you can get uh, the information on that now if you will open teams in the browser so suppose i will say teams.microsoft.com and uh, then you can, i have logged in i have logged in with, with one user so that's the reason you can see here and uh, you can see this and uh, there you can go to the uh, settings you can click over here and you can see this is uh, a, a pop up is opening and then you can see here settings over here and uh, these are the settings options general so we'll see some of the options from here now the same thing is also available on the teams app uh, which i have installed in my local in the desktop in this is a windows operating system windows 10 operating system that i'm using and here you can see here this is my teams app and here also if i'll click on this username you can see here and uh, then i have settings and if you will actually compare then you have more options in this desktop application for example this application tab is not available in the browser you can see here it is not there you have only themes and uh, then languages and display so if you want to uh, change the themes for example in this case if you look at this um, now i'll open the desktop application you can see here you have the other options and the moment i will select one then you can see here it is showing me uh, the view as well so you can change the th theme here so you can select a dark theme or you can high contrast theme also you can think uh, you can select for your uh, teams and uh, the other one we will see is uh, whenever you will actually log in you will see if, if you want to change the status here and you have uh, this predefined status here available which you do not disturb be right back and appear sideways so these are the things so let's say for example i'll select bg here and uh, you can see here this option is bg now and the same thing will be also reflected in the wave when i will uh, refresh this in this option will come over there there's one more thing that you can do is you can set a custom status message so if you will if you'll go here then you can see here i have a uh, status message here let me delete this so the moment i delete this you can see here uh, it is showing that set status message 
this is where you can actually save the status message and what exactly happen is whenever someone will start typing uh, to you then you can see the message there for example it will come like this if someone is typing something then it will show the status that uh, this is my status in a meeting will call it back so um, that status you will whatever the status you will set that message will show to other users when they will start typing on on to to chat with you now you can just click over here and then you can see here i will say hey i will i'm in a meeting now if i'll put this then you can see here there is an option which is saying that if you select this it is saying so when people message me so that time the message i showed you it, it will it kind of message you will get that with your status message whatever you have put it and then next thing is we really want to this message to disappear so if i will say that um, you know after one year you, this message should go then it will actually go uh, after one year one hour so it will be by the time it will be there so suppose i will say one hour and i'll say done so you can see here now uh, if i'm uh, try, trying to chat with someone then also it is showing me a notification that uh, your status message is this one and then if if someone actually try to uh, chat with you or they will put at the rate and then they will mention your name then that time they will they will get a message saying this is what is uh, this guy's status message so that that is what you can do on this and next thing is you can change the profile picture so if you click on change picture you have the option where you can remove the picture or you can upload a picture so when you click on upload picture it will show you a dialog box from where you can actually select this for example i will select teams here you can see and i'll click on save um, i'll close it now you can see here the teams you can see uh, the profile the icon has been changed it is now the teams icon which is which i have uploaded and now we will see a couple of more things on is uh, how we can change the language how we can uh, uh, open the microsoft team meetings in a separate in window and then also we'll see how we can set microsoft team uh, to start automatically now if i will go to again the settings option here uh, this dialog box is quite important and on this under the application tab you have the option where it is saying that you can or if you select this option auto start application then it will start automatically and uh, if you will select this one then it will be when uh, when you will close this window uh, the application uh, will be uh, running so the last option you can see here on close keep the application running so when you will close it um, then the application will be running and same thing on this also the application will run in the background so these options uh, if you will select it then it will um, you will see that your application will start and then in the background also it will be keep on running and this one more feature uh, which you, go, you will get notification as well this is come recently is that you can turn on new meeting experience so uh, what will happen on this is new meetings and the calls will open in a separate window um, now what is happen what will be most of the cases is when you will uh, start calling then it will call in the same window since i have enabled this option now if i will start calling this you can see here this is the separate window whichever is coming so you can you can chat over here you can do those things everything you can do on this a separate window you can see here you can minimize this and you have this uh, your main parent window also where you can start or you can keep on working on that and here you will be having a separate window for the call that you are trying to call with a user so this is quite important and you can uh, easily uh, select this uh, option just a checkbox so go to the settings and turn on new meeting experience so this is what is the new meeting experience and the last one is uh, how we can change the language or uh, the this this is what is the date format also it will be so for example if i will select any other countries then whatever their uh, date format it will pick that date so you can change the country language from here and this is the app language and if you want to uh, change the keyboard language so it will actually override the keyboard shortcuts so if you can select this also and the third option which is a checkbox which is saying that enable spell check so 
when actually you will typing something or you are chatting uh, over there in the uh, in the in teams it will actually uh, show you the spelling mistakes on that so these are quite useful uh, some settings in microsoft teams so if you like like the videos then uh, kindly subscribe to our channel so you'll get a lot of free videos on office 365 sharepoint uh, your azure spfx all these microsoft technologies videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day.